Hello, and we're here on the lakefront at the Alla Planetarium in Chicago, where they're hosting the National Day of Civic Hacking. The National Day of Civic Hacking brings together youth and professionals. These professionals specialize in certain fields such as astrophysics, engineering, and auto mechanics. The youth and professionals work together in order to attack certain social issues of their choice using technology from modern times. The youth has broken down into four groups, and in the next 36 hours, they will be developing an app that will help them solve their social issue. Let's go check it out. While civic cabin competitions are going on all around the country, today at the Alla Planetarium, the youth are the focus. There are 95 events going on. There's three in Chicago. Um, you guys are going to be the coolest, okay? Youth leaders from around Chicago have been meeting with their peers and hearing their most pressing social concerns. The four issues that were decided upon for today that we're going to work on uh, involve um, sexual and reproductive health, um, food access. The third is um, about immigration and undocumented labor. And the last um, is uh, peer mentoring and, uh, and positive role models. Um, and peer pressure. Today, the youth will be calling the shots. They are dividing up and picking teams. Let's meet them. We're about to introduce the first team to the National Hack Day. Come with me. The first team goes by the name of Clean Slate, and their issue focuses on undocumented workers, focusing on raising awareness for these undocumented workers to find new opportunities in order to better their lives. We're kind of those brainstorming ideas and we got to a point where we thought, hey, how about an app that can help undocumented workers go through the process of getting a worker's permit? I kind of try to put you guys on the spot here. Why is the name of the team Clean Slate? You know, I, I think a lot of the undocumented workers that are out there feel scared and, and unsure of what they can do. Um, but in our minds, their life is the clean slate. That's the kind of the goal is for them to start a life, a legal life, you know, where they can work and, and earn a living wage. The group's working out well. Like I said, I kind of recruited people and now they're kind of stuck with us. So you feel confident? Yes, I feel confident. I feel like we're going to have the best app today. Jesus is a college student studying industrial and organizational psychology. While he doesn't consider himself a hacker, he hopes his experience studying complex systems will help Team Clean Slate understand undocumented immigration. I have family who is undocumented right now, um, but I really don't know much of their struggles. But I would want to learn more ab about, about it and just kind of put myself in that perspective. The team we'll be visiting is called Fresh Moves. Their social issue is on food deserts in Chicago. Let's meet them. I don't know, what do you guys know about? We're here to create um, solutions that we can implement into an app that can help people with, um, with basically accessing fresh produce and things of that nature. Janae is a college student from Chicago. She also has limited experience with the computer, so she is relying on her passion for the subject matter at hand. She's checking to see what her teammates and Team Fresh Moose knows about food deserts. You understand what I mean? Like at the gas station on the north side, you can find a banana, an apple, and an orange. Okay. But uh, how is it possible it doesn't get here? Like, what is the problem? Like, what is the problem? Yeah, the face of horror is now obese. You no longer have an issue getting the right amount of calories. My first impression of our group is that we're a very highly intellectual crowd. We've got four astrophysicists. I'm a mechanical engineer. We've got a Chicago urban school teacher um, and a great youth leader that sounds very excited about the problem and solving the issues. Um, so I'm very excited to get started. Now we've met the teams. Have they picked worthy challenges or have they bitten off more than they can chew? Remember, they have just one day to produce something, anything. If they go too big, they might end up with nothing and the clock is ticking. <laughs> <laughs>